The Weird Circle. In this cave by the restless sea, we are met to call from out the past stories strange and weird. Bellkeeper, toll the bell so all may know we are gathered again in the Weird Circle. Phantoms of a world gone by speak again the immortal tale, The River Man. Here, where the story of the River Man is told, the seasonal rains are falling and night is creeping over the countryside. From the windows of a large farmhouse set back from the road, yellow lamplight falls into the dusky rain. Ahead, beyond the road that curves like a snake along the banks, is the river itself, turbulent, swift, racing to the distant sea. Nearby, emptying its swollen waters into the river, is a deep ravine, and across it hangs a swinging bridge, time and weather worn. Now the rains fall, and in the parlor of the house are three people Josephine, wife of the river man, Sarah Bell, his teenage daughter, and the hired helper on the farm, Jay. Sarah Bell, come away from the window. Pa's been gone more than six hours now, Josephine. It's getting night. Well, don't fret so, Sarah Bell. What with all the rain, maybe Lucy thought better and stayed in town. Jade, uh -huh. stop cleaning that gun and say something. Well, it ain't like Pa to go off and not come back like this. He never done it before. The bridge might have washed out. You can't tell, might a lot of rain. Jade, put that gun down. It gives me the jumps. Anyhow, you can never tell when them things going off. No bullets in it yet. I don't care. The way you're pointing it, and if it went off, reckon it'd shoot Sarah Bell right through the heart. I reckon it would. Maybe Pa got robbed. Maybe he's just laying by the roadside. His money gone, a bullet in him. <laughs> it'd be too bad. All that money gone. Yeah, I don't reckon you do care about Pa in here. You'd be worried. Sarah Bell, you're going to get yourself all wrought up again. Why don't you get out your sewing? You ain't finished with that little scarf yet, have you? Pa and me's got understandings. Ever since Ma died, we've been closer than ever before. Well, I'm your mother now, Sarah Bell. Ain't I? At least your stepmother. Come on, do like I say. Can't you see she don't want to sew? Long's mean Luther's hired you to work, Jabe. Looks like you'd be doing more good if you'd go out and see if them little biddies is all right. That chicken house, none too waterproof. They're all right. Well, I hope so. The river's high and I ever seen it. The water's way up to them rocks yonder. Guess it'd be too bad if a body got caught in the current. Wash them clean down to the sea, wouldn't it? Sure. And the sharks would eat up what's left. Fine thing to be saying, Jabe, with Luther missing like he is. I wish they'll bring him back. Paul, come. But you, you and Jabe, you wouldn't care if he never did. Why, Sarah Bell, how come you say that? I ain't as blind as a bat. I can see what's going on, even if Paul can't. What's she talking about? Well, I never. I guess she's mad because I said something to Luther about her running around so much with that boy Wes. 
Guess next you'll be accusing me of... Well, I don't know what. I got eyes. I can see what they is to see. I reckon Jabe don't think I know about that buggy he's got hid way back there in the bushes on the other side of the gully. What you got your buggy hid way out there for, Jabe? It ain't hid, Sarah Bell. Just left it there this morning when I come back from Saddler Wells. Mighty funny. All full of suitcases and things like you's going away. Land sakes. What's she talking about, Jabe? I reckon you better ask her. I was doing the asking. Seems to me like it's just waiting there. It's all ready to be hitched up. It's ready for somebody to cross that old swinging bridge over the gully and hop in it and drive away quick. I wish you'd come away from the window and stop saying things that sound like you're accusing somebody of something. I gotta wait for Pa. It won't be long now before it's night, what with the sky so dark and all. Well, I'm not gonna worry about him. He's past 40 and old enough to take care of himself. Worrying ain't gonna help none. That's right, Joe. Guess I'll go get my story and read some. Looks like I've been reading that story since last fall, and she ain't married the rich man yet. Ever started, Jake? Never did have time. Sure is an interesting story. You don't care. Neither one of you don't care. He could be just dead on the side of the road somewhere, and you wouldn't care. Sarah Bell. Well, it's true. Everybody knows you're married, Pa, just because he's got a good house and money and always had good crops. You never did love Pa the way Mama did. Now listen here, Sarah Bell. Can you Bell? shut up, Jabe Hicks? You're just a hired man around here, and you ain't got no say as far as I'm concerned. I told Pa not to sell that timber. I told him not to go to Sadler Wells and all this rain just to pay old Mr. Cooley that money. You're getting yourself all wrought up, Sarah Bell. Come on, let her alone. Well, Luther was right. He should have gone. The debt was due today. After all, it ain't safe having $2,000 laying around the house. Oh, uh, come on, come on. I'll help clean up supper dishes. We don't want no argument. Josephine. Huh? How come you know Pa got $2,000 for that timber? How come I know? I just do. That's how come. Pa told you he only got 500 He told me he was telling you that. Well, he told me different. Pa never lied to me. Where's the money? Sarah Bell, don't say something you'll be sorry for. You got the money, ain't you? I bet you have. You hid it someplace. Sarah Bell. And that's the reason why you didn't go to town with him, you and Jabe, like you planned to do. Listen, Sarah Bell, you stop that talk. You think you're going to run away? I know what you're planning. Well, if anything happens to Pa, I'll get even with you somehow. You just wait and see. Sarah Bell, where are you going? I'm not going to run away. Not if Pa don't come back, you won't. You wait and see. Land sakes, what's got in the girl? I don't know. She acts kind of crazy, if you ask me. She's got ideas, Jabe. Look, she's running to the bar. No, she always goes in there and hides when she gets her feelings hurt. She suspects too much. She found the buggy. I told you not to leave it so close to the house. Get away from that window, Joe. She'll see you watching. But look, she's coming out again. She's got something in her hand. Looks like a hacksaw. Well, she's going to get ringing wet. Yeah, let her. I wonder where she's going. Listen, Joe, you're going to stop worrying. I'll tend to Sarah Bell, just you leave her to me. Well, you can't wait long. As soon as we find out about Luther, just as soon as we do. All right. If we ever do. Might be days. You don't suppose something could have gone wrong, do you? No, of course not. Well, I'm hoping we don't have to wait long. This not knowing's getting me nervous. Hmm. Seven o'clock. Luther ought to be good and dead by now. Let him try getting across this bridge, Pa. Just let him. Now the cable's sawed most through. Sarah Bell! Sarah Bell! I've been looking for you. Hello? Hello, Wes. I got something to tell you, Sarah Bell. Lucky I saw you from the road. Hey, what are you doing out here in the rain by this old swinging bridge for? Nothing. I'm just looking at the water way down there in the gully. Hey, don't stand so close to the edge. I run most all away from town. Sarah Bell, that old junk man, you know, 
The one that comes round for papers and iron? Well, I saw him in Sadler's Wells in his wagon, and he said he saw your pa's carriage go off in the river. Yes. Just a little bit after noontime, he said, in all that rain. Oh. I was running down the street in town when the old junk man called out to me. He said he didn't see a soul all the way into town. He said he didn't know what to do, but he was sure it was your pa's carriage. Oh, I told him not to go. On the curve, he said. He said the carriage was going awful fast. Well, take me down there. Uh, but we can't do no good now, Sarah Bell. Well, then I'll go by myself. Hey, wait a minute. I'll go with you. Hey, don't cry like that, Sarah Bell. The junkman was crossing the bridge down yonder, and he saw the carriage coming over this road alongside the river. Well, just at the curve up there, one of the wheels come off, he said, and the carriage went over into the water. Sarah Bell, reckon they're all dead, all three of them. All three? Yesterday, when I was by, I remember Joe and Jabe was going to Sadler's Wells today with your pa. Oh, Wes. Wes, what am I going to do? He can't be dead. He just can't. Don't get to crying again, Sarah Bell. Pawn me. We was always so happy together. Ever since Mama died, I've been looking out after Pa like she told me to. Sure, Sarah Bell. Now he's gone. Maybe when the rain lets up, we can get the carriage pulled out. Maybe they're still in it. Sarah Bell, where are you going? I gotta look for him, Wes. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, don't go near that water. You'll get drowned yourself. He might be just floating around down there on the rocks. Might have been tried to get out, Wes. Sarah Bell, you're crazy. If they're not still in the carriage, they must have floated down with the current by now. Pa, Pa, it ain't too late, Pa. It ain't too late. Come on, Sarah Bell. Let me take you home. No, I gotta wait, Wes. Pa'd want me to wait. Wes, Wes, go get somebody to help. Get somebody to help me get Pa out of the river. Later, Sarah Bell, when the rain stops. Now! Wes, go ask your Uncle Henry to help. He could bring some of his field workers. Please, please, Wes. But, but they won't want to come out in this weather. And the water's too swift anyway, don't you see? Before long, somebody ought to be coming from town. Wes, why don't you do like I say? Well, all right, Sarah Bell. But listen, you go home, will you? And I'll come right back. If I go get Uncle Henry, will you go on home and wait? Yeah, yeah, I will, I will, Wes. Now, you Promise? All right, Wes, but hurry. It's going to be night before long. Quick as I can. But when I come back, you better be at home now. All right, Wes. Pa. Pa, wherever you are, it ain't too late. Pa, where's your gumption? You don't want to die. Get up, Pa. Rise up from where you're laying. Rise up and walk. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you to come home. Don't you hear me, Pa? Get up. Get up. Sarah Bell, you're calling me home. I can hear your little heart crying. Begging me to come home. Just keep wanting me back, Sarah Bell. And I'll come. I'll come. Keep wanting me home. Quit walking up and down, Joe. You're getting me fidgety, too. But it's eight o'clock already, Jane. She ain't back yet. I'm just plain worried. Well, let's hope she got drowned or something. It'll save us a lot of trouble. I got a funny feeling. Like, like he ain't dead at all. Like he's somewhere coming home. You're crazy as Sarah Bell. With a carriage wheel loose and like it was, he just couldn't have gone around that curve without going off in the river. Then I wish we'd hear. Wish somebody would come and tell us. I done told you a dozen times. Maybe if... Well, if we waited some, a couple of months. By that time, with Luther dead, you could marry me, Jabe, and everything would be rightly ours. Except for a little for Sarah Bell. That'd be safer. 
Two months ain't a lifetime. I got the buggy all packed, ain't I? For three days, we've just been waiting for the chance. Now we're going to go through it. Sarah Bell, where you been? No need to wonder about Paul any longer. He's gone. What do you mean? He's dead. Floating somewhere in the river. You look all white. You're wet to the bone, too. I waited in the river some. Trying to find him sunk amongst the rocks. Sarah Bell. What'd you kill Paul for? Why didn't you just let us alone? What makes you say we killed him? Don't take much seeing to know what's going on between you two. Maybe Pa didn't see it so clear, but I can. Sarah Bell, you're sick or something. Come away from the door. Let me get you some dry clothes. Better alone, Joe. Let me handle Sarah Bell. You can't do nothing to me, Jabe. I'm not afraid, neither. What are you talking about? About how he's going to try and kill me, maybe. Maybe push me in the river so I'll drown like Pa did. So they'll find us both, maybe, before we floated down to the sea. Jabe, she looks wild. Listen, Sarah Bell. Uh, don't you want to go out with me and let's look some more for Luther? Together we could find him quicker. Be a shame, wouldn't it, leaving Luther in the river all night? Get away from me, Jabe. <laughs> don't you want to go out and look for your pa some more? He can find his own way home. Jabe, stop this. He's not going to kill me, Joe. I've been talking to Wes. We was down on the road together. Wes was the one that told me about Paul. If I was found in the river, Wes would know somebody killed me. And anyway, he's going to be sort of surprised when he sees you two live and walking around. How come you say that? Because you was planning on going to Sadler Wells with Paul. Because Wes heard you say so yesterday. What do you mean? Just that all righteous should both be out in the river with Paul. You ought to be dead and gone, too. Sarah Bell. You told Wes we was in the carriage with Luther? Well, that's crazy. It ain't true. Why, you little... Jabe! Sarah Bell. Jabe, you... Deserve some of the meanness knocked out of her. Anyhow, she just fainted. I'll get some. You let her alone. But, Jabe... She's been lying. She might have seen Wes, but she had no right letting him think we was with Luther in the carriage. What are you going to do? Give me a coat. She could have got caught in the current looking for her old man. She could have done that easy. Wes will have to say that could have happened if she's missing... Jabe, I'm scared. Something wrong's gonna happen. I can feel it. Maybe we better not do this. Somebody might get to thinking. She just went wading in the river, went out too far. Here, help me lift her. Skinny little thing, ain't she? Pa. Pa. Jabe, she's coming too. I'll fix that, don't worry. Jerry Bell. What's that? What's what? Sounded like somebody outside calling her. You just got the jumps, that's all. Sarah Bell. Listen. Sarah Bell. Ooh, who could that be? Look out the window, Joe. See who's coming. Jabe. It's Luther. It's Luther, Jabe. You're crazy. But it is so, Luther. He ain't dead. Sarah Bell. Put her down, Jabe. Put her down. Luther, we... We thought you were dead, Luther. We thought... I come because she wanted me back. Put her down, Jabe. Sure, sure, Luther, sure. In the chair here, Jabe. She just fainted a little bit ago, Luther. We was gonna... Don't touch her. Uh, Let Sarah Bell be. All right, Luther. Sarah Bell. I come back like you wanted. I come back because you was... Crying so hard. Oh. Open oh. your eyes. Open your eyes. Ain't no danger now, Sarah Bell. Pa, you're back home. Luther, you're wringing wet. You must be freezing cold, too. I got a score to even. So I come back for you, Joe. You and Jabe. What are you talking about? Luther, there's one... One of them river crawfish on your coat, Pa. It ain't gonna hurt you, Sarah Bell. Get it off, Jabe! Yes, I ain't a pretty sight. Full of river slime, covered with all them crawling things in the water. Luther. I guess I had to come back. After all of a sudden, when I seen things so clear. Put your gun down, Jabe. 
guns ain't no good. If they got bullets in them like this, and they're good. You can't kill me again. What are you talking about? You talk crazy. Ain't so crazy for a man to talk about coming back to his home, is it? Back to his wife, so she can watch after him, pick out his clothes, all the river crawfish that crawl in him. Luther. Looks like you owe it to me. Seems how you and Jabe loosened the wheel on the carriage. So as when I came to the curve down yonder, wasn't nothing else to do but go over. Oh, you gotta go. You gotta go back. Sure. But not by myself, Sarah Bell. You gotta go back where? Where I come from. Where you two sent me. Jabe. Jabe. He's dead. He's a dead man! Oh. Get out of here, Luther. Not by myself. It ain't right by myself. If you don't get out of here, I'm going to shoot. Gabe. I got to take you two with me. When I was drowning down yonder, I saw everything clear. I saw how you'd been plotting and planning, waiting for the chance. Knew you'd took the money before it even left the house. Knew you ought to be right beside me. In the carriage, going over in the river. You two was beside me, drowning in the river with me. Joe, get out of here, run. So I had to come back, didn't I? To take you with me. Oh, let him alone. Are you going easy like Joe? Are you going to bring her easy like with you, Jabe? Down to the river? Joe, get out of here, run to the buggy. Oh, let him alone. I ain't no believer in dead men, Luther. But you're going to be dead for I'm through with you. Jane Doe! Just knocked off the river crawfish, Jabe, that's all. Guns ain't no good. He's still standing there, Jabe. He was dead already. You can't kill a dead man. Run. Run for the buggy, Joe. Pa, pa, let him go. They can't get away. I got a scorty. Pa, where are you going? Come on, come on. Here's the bridge. Jay, wait for me. Wait. Give me a hand. We gotta get across. The buggy's not far on the other side. I got all hitched up. Well, I'm scared of it, Jay. Go slow. Slow. Come on. Jay, look. Luke is on the other side. Get out of the way, you. We're coming across. He's everywhere. The nighttime's full of him. Jay, the cable. The cable's breaking. Hold on, Joe. Stay off the bridge, Luther. Stay off. It's breaking. It's gonna fall. Oh, look it! Go back! Go back! Fall out of the rope! Joe, look out! Pa! Pa, where are you, Pa? Sarah Bell! Sarah Bell, what's the matter with you? Oh, where's, where's they're gone? I saw them go down under the water, and they couldn't get out. It took them down to the river. All three of them down to the river. What, what are you talking about, Sarah Bell? Here, stand back. You'll, you'll fall in. I tried to get across the bridge and it broke. They went tumbling in the water. Sarah Bell, stop crying like that. But I didn't think he'd come back like I asked him to. He was a dead man. he come out of the river with. Joe and Jade couldn't get away from him. They run as fast as they could try to get away from him. Sarah Bell, what are you talking about? It's pitch dark. Come on, home. But it really wasn't me, Wes. It was me. I took James and I'm sure and cut the cable. I did it. It was me that killed him. Sarah Bell, that old bridge is so old it just broke from its own weight in the rain. But that don't matter now. Uncle Henry's down at the curb with some men. Uh, fine when you are. I told you to be home when I got back. But I was. I was, Wes. Jay was going to kill me. He was going to kill me. Sarah Bell. You're going clean out of your head. One of the men just found your paw wedged some rocks. Guess he tried to crawl out of the river. Most like they found Jabe and Josephine by now. Are you coming with me or not? You don't believe me. You don't believe what happened. Of course not. Here, uh, put my coat around you. i got to get you home before you're sick. Come on now, Sarah Bell. You don't believe me. You don't believe me. the floor of the river, Josephine, down in the 
climb in the dark. Come on, Dave. Come on, Josephine. Far away you can hear the rumble of the sea. Come on. From the time-worn pages of the past, we have brought you the story, The River Man. Bellkeeper, toll the bells.